So I'm going to start out by saying that if you live in the United States, at the very minimum, let's take everything down to just gender and the two genders. If you're a smooth brain moron who believes there's only two genders, we'll leave that alone and we will just level the playing field out and say between male and female, male has always been on the top. There has always been a gap between male and female. That's privilege. And we're talking about privilege. We all have some form of privilege. I, as a veteran, have privilege. I get to eat free once a year. I get special parking places, license plates. All of that is privilege. I get points given to me for federal service because of me serving in the military. That's privilege. Privilege exists to give you an advantage in some area or shield you from specific scenarios. We need to recognize and accept that. Because there's nothing wrong with privilege, but to, ha but to say that you don't have privilege is wrong. Yes, you could have worked for everything in your life. You could have grinded, you could have made a name for yourself, all of this and all of that, but recognize privilege, recognize it. And I, I feel if we recognize privilege and could have an open conversation about it, this country wouldn't be so fucked up, honestly. Everyone has a form of privilege and to, and to say and deny it just because it hurts your image is stupid. Denying privilege is literally denying a part of you. You can use that privilege to raise other people's voices. To lend your to lend your aid in the fight. And whatever fight that you choose, you don't have to be out protesting. I get that it's not safe. But there and there are other fights that need to be having. Use your privilege there. Use your privilege to help other people who don't have that same avenue as you. There are so many ways to use your privilege and we can't, we can't ignore it anymore. We can't ignore it anymore. To deny that, pro that, that police reform doesn't need to happen is a form of privilege. I've lived in some of the places with the highest police presence, North New Jersey, Irvington, East Orange, New Jersey, Oakland, Richmond, California, San Francisco, Colorado Springs, Hinesville, Georgia. And I can speak of this for certainty. If you are not male, straight, white, or Christian, your experience in this country will be vastly different, vastly different. Don't deny your privilege. Don't. It makes no sense because A, you're going to get called out on it. You're going to get called out on it. Whether you like it or not, whether you care about it or not, you're going to get called out on it. 180,000 Americans are dead. And you got black folk being murdered. Murdered. That's what it is. It is murder. I don't... You... We are supposed to be able to be tried by our peers. That is the justice system. That is the legal system. Nowhere in that does it give law enforcement permission to execute people. To kill people. Self-defense. I was scared. What about me? What about millions of other people that look like me that are scared too? Law enforcement, they have every tool in the book to protect themselves, and we can't do anything back to them. We can't defend ourselves against law enforcement, but they're scared. They're scared. We gotta vote, because if we don't vote, this is only gonna get worse. And. If it goes that direction, this country earned it.
This country earned it. And I love this country. This country gave me my children, gave me my partners, my best friends, the loves of my life. It gave me the ability to serve with different ethnicities, different cultures, different backgrounds from every aspect that America can offer. It's not right, but you know, blue lives matter, right? Blue lives matter isn't a thing because there is no such thing as blue lives. You are not born blue. You choose to be blue. I'm black and I have no other choice. So whenever I see blue lives matter, all lives matter, I know what you're really saying. I know what you're really saying. And it hurts because if the shoe was on the other foot and you wanted to be heard, you would be begging and pleading for people to give you a fair shot, to listen to your side of the story. Well, what about my side of the story? What about Jacob Blake's side of the story? George Floyd's side of the story? I don't give a fuck if they had a criminal record. If they had a criminal record, let the fucking judge do their fucking jobs. And then he had kids in his car. They don't care about us. They never have and they never will. And I cannot believe anyone who says any differently. I can't believe them because it's not what I see on a daily basis in this country. It's not what I see, it's not what I experience, it's not what other black folk around me experience and we talk about, I see talked about in various social media and throughout the news in every other aspect of my life where I interact with another person, especially a black person. I see everything that they go through. I see what we all go through. And just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean that it doesn't, it, it, it's not there. You don't speak for everybody. I don't speak for everybody. I can only speak for what I've seen. And I've been punched in the mouth by a cop before for doing nothing wrong. I'm 13 years old in East Orange going to fucking school. I got punched in my fucking mouth. My mother told me to mind my P's and Q's. This isn't the country I fought for. I don't know what this country is anymore, honestly. I really don't.